B Makers the Squad, what's good? It's your boy Cheese. So, I got a question for y'all. Have you been running out of space on your iPad, iPhone, iPod, whatever you may be making beats on? Okay, that's the case. This tutorial is going to help you out. Let's go! So this is just a track that I uh, created for one of my artists. If you look closely, you'll notice that they're both MIDI tracks and audio tracks in this file. In particular, the pink and purple tracks that are in the middle have both MIDI and audio. The purple file is the Arp Odyssey and the pink file is Propellerhead Thor. Now, I love the external sense, but the issue with it is that when you record the audio, the files are saved twice. So I'm going to show you where they're saved the first time that you basically have no control over. So let's open up a drum machine, choose an empty pad, and let's navigate to Home, My Content, and Recordings. Now in the Recordings folder, you're going to find every single audio file that you recorded on Beatmaker since you got Beatmaker. <laughs> if you've never emptied this folder, then there's a wealth of space that's just being wasted. Okay? This folder alone is why you're getting that, um, that notification that you're running out of space. Like, you know how large WAV files can be. And these, for the most part, are probably stereo. I'm going to show you how to save your Beatmaker 2 songs. When you hit save, navigate to your folder, hit the copy samples button. Now this is going to create a folder. Within that folder, you're going to have your Beatmaker 2 file, as well as a folder which will hold all of the samples that are contained in that Beatmaker 2 file. So now that we've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to navigate to the sample folder for this particular Beatmaker 2 song. So go to the drum machine, choose a pad, hit quick load. Nav we're gonna navigate to the paddy file, or folder I should say, and you'll see that the Beatmaker 2 file is not there because it's only gonna show the files that it can load, which are waved. So when we open the paddy samples, you'll see all of the samples there as well as the recordings. So now if I wanted to, I can go into that recordings folder and delete the recordings that I made in this particular song. Beatmakers the Squad, I hope this tutorial was beneficial for you. Before I get out of here, let me just give you a quick reminder one more time. Before you go into that recordings folder, make sure you've saved, excuse me, your Beatmaker 2 files, like your session files, with the samples. Um, as a matter of fact, I think you every beat you make from now on you should be saved with samples if you haven't been doing that already. You can see like the, the benefit of that, it will just collect all of the samples, even the samples from the drum programs and the keyboards and whatnot will be all in one folder and your Beatmaker 2 file will just look to that folder every time it needs to find the samples, as opposed to looking to the recordings folder to find maybe like the audio track from the app that you that you pulled into um, Beatmaker 2. Anyway, uh, I don't wanna keep you too long. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, as usual, you know, follow us on Instagram at Beatmaker is the Squad. Also, I'm inviting you to like the Facebook page. The link is below in the description. And below that is a link for you to actually win a free copy of Beatmaker 3 through Intuit. Um, I don't know when it's dropping. It'd be nice to know when. I hope it ain't dropping today because I ain't checked today yet. It'd be crazy if it dropped today. I'm telling you, go like kind of five for free. But I doubt that's the case. Anyway, um, yeah, I will catch you on the next tutorial, guys. And uh, thanks for rocking with me. Peace.